So nano means small, but it's really hard to appreciate how small nano is. You can't see it with the naked eye. You can't even see it with a light microscope. A nanometer is one billionth of a meter. If you take the size of the Earth, one billionth would be a marble. One of the neat things about nano is whether we're talking about medicine, energy, the environment, you name it, this changes it. I looked at this as a revolution because it was a way of changing how almost all science is done. And we wanted to be at the forefront and to lead the way. The IIN, the International Institute for Nanotechnology, is an organization at Northwestern that really encompasses all of the nanoscience and technology research on campus. IIN is centerpiece of what we do at Northwestern. Northwestern today is a magnet that attracts the best and the brightest from institutions all over the globe. That type of presence continues to feed a pipeline of great ideas and new materials and new capabilities that are being developed in Evanston. We're interested in not only observing the new science, but making it translatable. Do you care about healthcare? Do you care about clean water, clean air? Any aspect of society as we know it has a nanotechnology solution to it. Separating salt from water to make drinkable water. That's currently being done with uh, membranes. And the membranes are thick and takes a lot of energy to push the water through and leave the salt behind. But when you make the membrane really thin, and you make it nanometer thin, you need much less energy to push the water through, and so you'll get a, a membrane that's much more effective. The most exciting advances have been in medicine. We've learned how to take molecules and rearrange them in a form that doesn't exist in nature, a spherical form, and those types of structures may be even more important and more powerful in terms of developing new types of medical diagnostic and therapeutic tools. Nanotechnology offers a different way to target cancer cells using uh, special nanostructures. Cancer is a terrible disease. It has existed for far too long, and it is about time uh, scientists put an end to it altogether. And nanotechnology is an important tool that we can use to contribute to this effort. Nanotechnology has really been an exciting way to start thinking about topically delivering through just a simple cream, genetic material that can change the way that cell functions in such a way that we can turn around disease. We're going to be able to treat disease at an individual personalized level so that we can define the disease in you, develop the drug for you, and have it work in you. And that would be just a, an incredible transformation of our ability to deal with disease. When I listen to Chad and others with IIN talk about the, the mysteries that there are being unfolded in front of them and the incredible breakthroughs they're getting in the labs, sometimes that's a little hard for me. It sounds science fiction to me, but the reality is it's making an unbelievable difference. So if you look back through history and ask what are the big advances that changed our lives in profound ways, you could go as far back and say there was the wheel, there was certainly electricity in the light bulb, there were computer chips, and in many ways nanotechnology is making that change now. To come to a place where there are going to be discoveries that are made on a daily basis that change the way we think about the world, that are made for the first time at Northwestern University is a, a type of drug. I mean, it's, it's an, an incredible high. It's nice to be at the leading edge than the catch-up edge. It's much harder to catch up. It's much more fun to, to define things and to be ahead. If you want to choose a winner, think about Northwestern. I think it's impossible to go anywhere else and find a, a more talented group of people that uh, have the passion and desire to really make significant inroads in a variety of areas that impact really all of humanity. So some people might say, well, since you're number one in the world in nano, maybe you should just 
then reallocate resources to something else. But what you do is you take what you're really good at and double down on your bet, and that's exactly what we're doing. So the last 15 years of IIN have been unbelievably successful, but nothing compared to the next 15 years.